Grafana is a multi-platform open source analytics and visualization web application. As a visualization tool, it's, it's quite popular in monitoring stacks. It comes in a cloud version, of course, but you can self-host it as well. And it comes in enterprise as well as open source editions. Now, of course, self-hosting anything, Grafana included, brings with it the responsibility of securing that web app to you. Now, web servers that are open to the internet are susceptible to attack from malicious actors. And of course, you can deploy your web server into a private VPC, make it completely inaccessible to the internet. But how would you or your colleagues access it from, say, their mobile device or from their home laptop? Now, well, I suppose VPN solution could be set up. Uh, any Anyone who's administered one of those realizes how painful they are, and every client-side user hates them. Uh, if they can install them on their client-side devices at all. So how could you self-host something like Grafana and make it inaccessible to the bad actors while simultaneously providing access to your authorized users and do all that without any onerous VPN machinery? Well, you can do it with some technology from NetFoundry's OpenZD project that we have named Browser, Browser with a Z. And I'll give you a brief demo of that here today. Everything you're going to see here today, you can actually do yourself. If you go to NetFoundry's site, and if you want to, you can come in and set yourself up a, a Cloud City Teams network for free. And, and then everything that you're going to be seeing in this demo is something that you could do yourself. The network's already been deployed. I'm not going to demo that here, but I did want to show you what is kind of going on under the covers. What is the, the NF console, uh, what is the Teams network doing for you? I'll go through this diagram very, very quickly, but if you want a more in-depth explanation, please reach out to anyone in NetFoundry and we'll be happy to sit down with you and discuss this. The first thing that happens uh, is someone on their client side, you know, opens up their browser and they type in the URL to the website. And the website would typically be uh, Grafana, but since it's dark, it's not accessible to the internet. We, we have one of the components uh, in the browser stack that we refer to as the bootstrapper. So that URL would be made public and it is responsible for getting software into the browser that then facilitates the rest of the connections to your dark Grafana web server. Once the bootstrapper has loaded the ZD browser runtime into the browser, the first thing it's gonna do is reach out to an IDP of your choice uh, to get the user of that device authenticated. The demo you'll see is one where we have used Auth0 as an IDP and we'll be federating out to Google Workspaces. Once an authentication from the IDP succeeds, the next step is for the ZD browser runtime to speak to the ZD control plane and say, hey, look, I've got a JWT from the IDP. The IDP says this user is XYZ, whoever it might be. Do you know who that is? and the controller will say yes or no. Assuming the answer is yes, the next step is to have a conversation with the control plane to spin up some ephemeral X509 certificates that will be used to create the mutual TLS connections onto the, the edge of, of the ZD network. And then once that is done, then the actual loading of the Grafana app is performed. At that point, Everything that happens in the client browser is the same as it always was. The user will be completely unaware that ZD is even there. Okay, so let's do a demo. You can see the public URL of the ZD bootstrapper instance that represents this particular dark Grafana app. So if we come up here, press enter, the first thing we do is hit the IDP. So again, this is Auth0 federating out to Google. I will enter my NetFoundry credentials. Our workspace has MFA on, on the Google workspace, so I will pick up my phone and say, yes, it's me. At which point, now the ZD browser runtime is fully loaded into the browser, and we are talking to the Grafana web server that is completely inaccessible to anyone on the internet except for those identities that the ZD control plane knows will be coming from that IDP. Let's go ahead and log in to the Grafana app. And up she comes. So this instance is 
uh, not a real one. This is for demo purposes. It's, it's mostly empty, but all of the, the functionality that you would normally see in Grafana is here uh, and is accessible. Just wanted to show you a quick demo of everything that is Grafana working in an OpenZD browser stack. That wraps up the demo. If you have questions about anything that you've seen and you would like a more in-depth explanation, don't hesitate to reach out and we'd be happy to talk with you.